Oh, what a pass that is for Marcus Rashford. Rashford gets the shot off. Big goal for us. That's one of my best goals I've scored this year. There we go. It looks like the momentum has shifted in our favor now. As I'm going to try and find Anthony Martial. I've done so successfully. Martial, oh my god. That is unbelievable from Anthony Martial. So here we are back again with another episode of the PES 2021 Man United Master League series. This is episode number four. Now, what do you look at this? We haven't won a single game in our last four games. And it's it's been a really difficult start to the season now. In fact, we did start off really well, but last episode, oh, it was it was brutal, man. And now we're fifth in the Premier League. We're looking to change that in today's episode. Hopefully getting some good results and making a push towards that top four, preferably top three, top two. We spoke about signing Luka Modric in the last episode. We're going to discuss that even further in this one with some other transfer suggestions as well. There's another player from Real Madrid I'm really interested to bring in. So a lot to discuss in today's episode. So yeah, in today's episode, we've got Premier League football, big transfers to discuss and a lot more. So if you guys are enjoying all the best content on the channel, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here and let's get this underway time for a press conference get your questions answered by dropping them down in the comment section below first one of the day do you plan to use scott McDominay? as i've never seen him in any of these episodes he should be given more playing time now that van der beek has picked up an injury don't even get me started on that van der beek injury man because he literally got injured against chelsea and because of that we were a man down for like 10 minutes and chelsea scored in that period it was super frustrating but yeah van der beek will be out for the next few weeks or so and i think it might be smart of us to give scott mcdominay that chance in midfield along with pogba and bruno so yep you guys better get ready to see some scott mcdominay action some mix sauce in that midfield next up are you looking to start dean henderson more often last episode we saw david here make a huge blunder and i think it's only fair we give dean henderson an opportunity he deserves to start and that's why in today's episode, Dean Henderson will get a chance. De Gea is still my number one keeper, but I feel like after that mistake, we owe Dean Henderson at least an opportunity to showcase his talent. So we're going to be starting him in one of the games in today's episode. Next question, you should sign Alex Telles because you need a better left back and he's strongly linked to the club in real life. So I have been hearing rumours that Alex Telles to Man United might be possible, but to be fair, Man United are at this point linked to pretty much every single player in the world. But Alex Telles would be a great option if we are looking to, of course, replace Luke Shaw. So far this season, Luke Shaw has been pretty okay, but nothing spectacular. But the problem with signing Alex Telles is the fact that we're going to have to pay big money, about $32 million to make that happen, probably even more. And look at that, he's not convinced he wants to even join our club. So it's a difficult one, and that's why I think this season, at the very least, I'm not really concerned with bringing Alex Telles to Man United. It's just too expensive, it'll take too much of an effort and we've got other players to look at. So Alex Telles to Man United in this series, not happening. With that press conference done, let's move on. So it's Anthony Martial who picks up yet another player of the episode award. What an episode he's had in that last one. He's our top goal scorer this season. He's scoring important goals and some really good goals as well. And that's why he picks up another player of the episode award. Now I spoke about potentially wanting to sign another Real Madrid player and that player is none other than Sergio Ramos. Now, I think Ramos is the best defender in the world, probably among the very best of all time. In fact, he is. And having him at Man United for even one season would be amazing. Remember, we're only doing one season in this career mode. So signing Sergio Ramos could be unbelievable for our defense. We'll get that extra quality that could fight us to the Premier League title. But the only problem with this transfer is the fact that his annual salary is about 21 million and we cannot afford that at the moment. We'll need to sell a lot of players to make this happen, but Ramos will be happy making a move to Man United. That is huge. Of course, it's going to be difficult negotiating with Real Madrid, but we will see. We'll try and make that happen, but yeah, we need to find a way to get that salary sorted. But let me know in the comment section if you guys have any tips to make this happen, but Sergio Ramos is most certainly a player I kind of want to bring in in this series. We'll see though if it's possible, but at the moment it's looking difficult because of the wages he wants. Luka Modric though, on the other hand, should be a relatively easy transfer for us to get done with. In the comments section, a lot of you guys have told me to make this happen. So come January, we are going to make an offer for Luka Modric and see if we can bring the former Ballon d'Or winner 
to Man United. Now we're going to be starting the episode off with some Europa League action which we do simulate and thankfully this time we do pick up a win that puts us on 10 points in the group. We should be able to finish first in the group. We've just beaten Dynamo Kiev 3-1. Oh, what do we have here? A new card scene. Derby Day Chapter 1. What is this about? The match against Liverpool on the 21st November. It's not just any old match between the two football powerhouses. It's a derby. Okay, now. Okay, now. So the game is just building up a bit of hype for the big game against Liverpool. I'm excited now. I do know on PES, derby games are more exciting and all because the opponent becomes more aggressive. Hopefully that's the case and it'll be a lot of fun. Now, when is that derby? Let me check. It should be in a few weeks or so. Maybe like two weeks. Let's figure out when that game against Liverpool is. Oh no, up next we play Wolves at the Molino. And you guys know I don't like playing at that stadium. But after that, we've got Burnley and then the big one against Liverpool. Okay, now we're going to play this one in today's episode. Okay, so I just noticed we've received a transfer offer from Newcastle for Nemanja Matic. An extra 8 million added to our budget is going to be insane. And we're not really using him with Scott McTominay, Fred and all playing those positions. So... We're going to accept the offer. We'll get a, get a lot of extra cash, which we can use. That's, that's superb. And he'll be on his way out of the club come January. So there you go. That deal is now done. We've got some more transfers we've got to work with here. More offers coming in for loans and all, which I am going to accept. Getting some more business done as we speak. Because, yeah, a lot of these youngsters, I don't plan on using them. So sending them out on loan seems like the smart thing to do. But I'm glad we've now sold Nemanja Matic. Okay, now, guys, we've got way too many fitness issues to deal with right now, which is super annoying. But that's football. That's how this sport works. And that's why I've had to make a ton of changes for this game against Wolves. No Pogba for us in this one. Scott McDominay does get the nod, though. We've got Brandon Williams, Yota, Greenwood all starting. And also, this might be the perfect game to give Dean Henderson a shout and a chance to shine. So there you go. Dean Henderson is in the lineup. This is our team against Wolves. That is their team. They've got Adam Traore, Raul Jimenez. That's a good team they've got there. This is going to be a tough one. That is good defending right there from Eric Bai. Big chance for him as well here as he looks to find Bruno Fernandes. It's a good ball. Out wide now for Dan James. Dan James kind of struggling, but he does get ahead of his man. Still Dan James looking for the cutback. That's the worst pass ever. Come on, Dan James. You've got to be better in the final third. Brandon Williams in a very weird situation. You normally don't see him in that position. Here's Bruno wriggling in and out of a few defenders. Still Bruno goes for goal. Your big save from the keeper. And Wolves get the ball away. We're playing some good football now, which is a big positive. But we've got to take our chances. Otherwise, you know what happens on this game. Who's in a good space? Looks for Anthony Martial on the turn, left foot. Oh, that was so close to being a phenomenal finish from Anthony Martial, who is our top scorer this season. You can't put it past him for, you know, scoring from that kind of a position. But this time, a bit wide. Oh my God, Adam Traore has completely opened up our defence and he is onside. That is phenomenal defending from Harry Maguire. I thought Adam was going to score from that chance. We... That's a let-off. That is a big let-off for our defence. Oh my god, our defence has been opened up yet again. Harry Maguire versus Adam Traore is not a battle I'm too keen on. But this time, Maguire beats him. Wow. That's, I think, the second time Adam Traore has gotten beaten by Maguire. Fair enough. I think it's time we bring on the big guns. Sancho and Rashford are going to come on for the second half. We will also bring on Paul Pogba for Fred. I think Scott McTominay has had a good game. And I think that's about it, really. So... Pogba, Rashford, Sancho, come on. That should hopefully see us through. Good ball played in. What? That's an own goal. Scott McTominay, man. Who in the comment section told me to start him? Yo, you guys have literally cost me a goal there now. He's just put that in his own net. Another one. Yo, I, I don't want to play this game anymore. When's FIFA 21 releasing, please? I'm not good at this game. Why, why is Scott McDominay heading that right and when I aimed literally the opposite way? Like, what the hell? What a joke, man. We were playing so well and this to happen. Uh, uh, oh my god. This is painful, honestly. We're applying so much pressure on these guys, but we can't just find the space. Finally, we do. And Bruno Fernandes with a lovely finish. Just what we needed. Bruno scores against Wolves and makes it 1-1. That is a massive goal from Bruno. Oh my god, this is huge because we conceded such a stupid goal and it could have really brought the morale down and now we're back on level terms, thankfully, with some brilliant passing and build-up play. Martial linking up with Bruno and Sancho. Bruno with the finish. Let's go, guys. That is a big goal. Once again, the battle between Maguire and Adama and Maguire wins that again. Like, what is going on? And now Maguire bringing the ball forward with everything he's got. Still Maguire here. Could look for a pass. Ah, that's asking a bit too much. 
from the English centre-back. Marcus Rashford hasn't had much of an impact after being brought on. Here's Anthony Martial. Is he onside? I'm not sure. I think he is. He is. He is onside, guys. Let's go, Anthony Martial. This game, man. This game is so infuriating. Why didn't they just let me know he was offside? They gave me the celebration options and all, man. Oh. And that's full-time. 1-1 against Wolves. So undeserved because we had all the possession, all the chances. And it's another own goal costing us, man. What a joke, honestly. I do find it a bit funny that we've moved up the table with that draw. We're now in fourth place. We're eight points off the top, though, as Arsenal seemingly have become the Invincibles Arsenal of late. I don't know what they're doing and how they're doing it, but they're top of the league right now. We're fourth, which is okay, but we got to stop dropping points like this because it's awful. Another cutscene building up to that game against Liverpool. This is our last match before the big derby. Let's make sure we win it. And we don't give the press or the public any things to, you know, maybe criticize us. So I get that. But the problem is our next game is against Burnley. And you guys know I hate playing against Burnley. We're going to sim it and hope that we can win it. Yo, we've got some good news now. Van der Beek has fully recovered and he should be fit for the next game. That is some fantastic news. Offer coming in from Pogba. 88 million from Atletico Madrid. I just don't want to sell Pogba, man. So I'm going to end negotiations. We've got to renew his contract because he's just got one year remaining which we'll do in due course. We sim this one against Burnley and thankfully we get a confident 3-0 win, just what we needed at this stage and that keeps us in that fourth spot. Our next game though is the big one against Liverpool who surprisingly have had a difficult start to the season. Maybe we can beat them and that'll be big for us. Okay, now we've got a press conference before the big derby against Liverpool. Let's see what this one is all about. You failed to win your penultimate match before the derby. But you did pull off a win against Burnley. Is it safe that you have regained some momentum ahead of the derby? I guess so. That game against Wolves was just... Uh, I, don't want to, I don't want to describe it. It was just an annoying one. But against Liverpool, we're ready to win. Come on, boys. About the loss against Wolves, we got a draw there. Okay, I'm, I'm confused now. But anyways, our job is to beat Liverpool. Losing to Liverpool is not an option. Never stop moving, control the game and concentrate. Look at Lindelof be really excited for this one. Okay, now... We've got a cool uh, cutscene here in, of course, the dressing room. Heart is what wins you games like this. Okay, Let let's get the job done now. I'm excited for this. Okay, so I'm going with some really risky plays here. I'm going with a 4-3-3 formation with two attacking midfielders. So I'm basically going all out here. We're going to win this game. And that's why I've gone with Sancho, Rashford, Van Der Beek, Bruno, all of them starting. I'm taking this one seriously, boys. It's a risky move going with so many aggressive players, but... Let's hope we can pull it off. Pogba will be there controlling that midfield. That's the Liverpool team we're up against. And oh, it, it looks good. It does look really good. Salah, Firmino, Fabinho, Wijnaldum, Mane, Van Dijk. This is going to be a big one. Here we go. We're at Anfield for this one as we take on Liverpool. Definitely hyped for this game. Let's see how things go. And I, I'm expecting some rough challenges and all coming our way. But... I think we can cope with it. Liverpool definitely the favourites because of how good their team is, but I think we can compete. Liverpool's pressure is genuinely crazy, but we've probably broken through that here. Here's one Bissaka. Could cross this one in. It's a decent delivery. Marcus Rashford, why were you standing there? Make a bloody run and go for the shot or something. Rashford, man, what was he doing there? We're keeping possession really well, which is awesome to see, but at the same time... Liverpool's pressure is so crazy. They're closing me down so well every single time. It's a, it's a nightmare to play against this Liverpool team. Oh, a terrible pass from me has given now a chance for Roberto Firmino who goes for goal and scores. That's Liverpool for you. They're too good, man. Liverpool are too good. A fantastic goal from Roberto Firmino as Liverpool take the lead in this one. It's my fault again. Look at how stupid I was here in the build-up play. That, that's, that's exactly what I did. Just awful. Change in formation for the rest of this game. The super aggressive tactic that I went with is just not going to work. So we're going back to a 4-2-1-3 or a 4-2-3-1. Here we go now with Brandon Williams. And look at the space here for Paul Pogba. The question is, can he bring the ball inside? Still Pogba. Looks for the pass. Why that first touch? We still have the ball though. Bruno finds space, shoots and scores. Let's go guys. Bruno Fernandes with a big goal there. Why did that player in the box take a touch? I have no idea, but ultimately things have worked out well for us. Bruno scores a similar goal to what he scored against Wolves, and we're back in it, boys. It's 1-1. Let's go. Such a relief to score that goal, man, because I was so annoyed when Sancho, I think, took that touch there. Like, look at that. That's not such a bad touch, but thankfully Bruno knew what, to ha what had to be done. That's a banging finish from him. There's Van der Beek. Once again, I'm seeing Pogba make a really good run. I'm going to find him. 
Pogba now could find space to shoot. Big block coming in from Virgil van Dijk. Pogba has been super influential getting up and down the pitch. Love to see that. Half time against Liverpool in this derby. It's been a fairly even game. Liverpool's pressure is just crazy to deal with. But I think we've done a good job. Second half, let's keep pushing. And we might be able to walk away with the win. Looks to find Van der Beek with an absolutely ridiculous pass. But Van der Beek's first touch was horrendous. He's going to have to take it backwards here. We do find Martial. Now it's Bruno again in a similar position. But this time Sky is his effort. We're playing such good football, man. We deserve to get into the lead. Brandon Williams. Martial. And now Marcus Rashford. This is huge for us. Go on, Rashford. Can he bring it inside? That's the real question. Marcus Rashford, 1v1, goes for goal. Oh my days, Marcus Rashford. How has he pulled that off? Let's go, guys. We've scored against Liverpool to make it 2-1. What a counter-attack. Moments ago, we were almost going to concede. But now, we've managed to score. Van der Beek was super influential in the build-up. So was Martial. But what a finish from Rashford to beat Alisson from there. It was a lovely finesse shot. We've made it 2-1. And at Anfield, Manchester United are leading. Let's go, guys. Oh my god, Salah's broken through, the hair needs to get there, can he get there? Oh, big miss from Mo Salah, he had the chance to get Liverpool back on level terms, but we survived that. Liverpool got in behind our defence way too easily there. Oh my god, no, 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 not this way, Mo Salah's broken through, oh, big tackle right there from Juan Bissaka, now get the ball away. Oh, that was big from Juan Bissaka, I thought Salah was through there. Full time, guys, and this is our biggest win of the series so far, we've managed to hold on, look at how the team is celebrating now, that's what it means to us. We've done it guys, we've beaten Liverpool at Anfield, such a big moment that could turn our season around because this is a big statement, we've beaten Liverpool at Anfield, let's go. We're still fourth after that result but I'm really happy with the way we played man, like honestly we really fought against Liverpool after going a goal down and yeah we're making really big progress now, we're just 7 points off Chelsea, Arsenal have started to drop points so... We're doing well. Simulating this one against Aberdeen, getting it out of the way in the Europa League and we do win that game 4-1 and that pretty much sends us through to the round of 16 or the 32, I think yeah, round of 32 of the Europa League, so that is awesome. So I had no idea but our next game is against Man City in this series, there was no cutscene about it, so after beating Liverpool, our next fixture is against Man City at Old Trafford, this is going to be big, let's hope we can take that momentum from the Liverpool game into this one. Lineups wise, this is how I'm going to start. Van der Beek is going to be playing again because he was superb against Liverpool. We're going to switch them around and that is how things are going to look like for me. The defense is looking solid, attack is looking amazing, but look at that City team, man. It is scary. They're running a similar formation to us, Aguero, Kevin De Bruyne. They've got Dembele as well. The pace they've got is crazy, man. A strong defense as well. Nathan Ake starting for them. Edison on the bench. That's going to be interesting to see. If we put in a similar performance like what we did against Liverpool, I'm sure we can get a good result here. But we can't be doing this. We cannot be doing this, man. How does that rebound fall right to Aguero? My defense just got caught napping. And it's Sergio Aguero yet again in a game like this scoring. Fair play. Man City have made it 1-0. Awful defending from us and we got caught napping. Oh my god. It's going to be a long 90 minutes this one. Sancho. Looks to feed this one for Anthony Martial. That is a terrible challenge on him. That, that could be a sending off right there because Martial was through. Maybe not a sending off, but a yellow card at the very least. What's it going to be? Nothing? Nothing for that? What a joke. What a joke. That, that was 100% a yellow card at the very minimum. Man City once again on the attack here. Luke shot as well. De Gea makes a save, but what is De Gea doing? Get the ball away. We cleared the ball away, away off the line. I don't even know what I'm saying now, but good lord, man. What are we doing? Oh, we might be on the break here. What's going on in this game? Anthony Martial, 1v1. Still Martial, could score here. Left foot bang, but the keeper makes the save. Ah, But man, De Gea made a big blunder there. He's made two big errors in this game, which is not good. Oh, Bruno's through on goal against City. Bruno Fernandes has to be a goal. Let's go, boys, against Man City at Old Trafford. Bruno scores. He did that against Liverpool as well. So don't be surprised. Bruno has scored in every game in this episode so far, if I'm not wrong. And we make it 1-1 against City. We had to work so hard for this. But this game is going on a similar trajectory to what happened against Liverpool at Anfield. So I'm hoping for a similar outcome. I'm hoping that we can, you know, take the lead in the second half. But good football yet again from us. Anthony Martial has proven to be a big assist provider in this series as well. And there you go. Bruno makes it 1-1. Come on, boys. Half time against City. We literally scored at the perfect time to make it 1-1. More of that in the second half. We showed a lot of fight in this half. Come on, second half, we've got to improve and I think we've got what it takes to win. Oh, that's a gift. That is a big gift. Martial could find Rashford here. Go on. 
Marcus Rashford has got the pace. Can he beat his man? No way is the keeper saved that. But a chance for us on the rebound. Let's go. Anthony Martial is virtually unstoppable in this series, man. What a finish yet again as we make it 2-1. Similar to what happened against Liverpool, it's happening again. A lot of chaos here as the City goalkeeper did make the save initially for Rashford's shot. But then on the rebound, it fell perfectly for Martial. It was super quick to react. And it's a lethal finish from the Frenchman as we make it 2-1. Are we actually going to end up beating both Liverpool and City in the same episode? That'd be nuts. Sees Martial. Oh, that first touch was simply unbelievable as he beats Nathan Akia. Still, Martial could score. Goes for goal. Rebound. Now it falls to a City player this time. Ah, we're really hitting Man City at the break. Their defence is so high. The defensive line and our pacey forwards are completely doing so well getting in behind so it's working out perfectly for us just about 20 minutes to hold on Sergio Aguero oh my god I've messed that one completely up with my defending but thankfully De Gea bailed me out there and it's still 2-1 to Manchester United Sergio Aguero is insane on pace oh my god big chance for City and that is such a cheap goal to concede man off a corner huh oh, all that hard work and I, I, speechless this is such lazy defending. Such lazy defending from us. It's now 2-2. Uh, full time against Man City. The game ends in a 2-all draw. Probably the deserved result. But to be fair, when we were 2-1 up, we had chances to make it 3-1. We just couldn't take. And well, yeah, that's a draw. To be honest, I can't complain because it's Man City we're up against. Pep Guardiola City. And a draw is still a good result against them. We're still fourth in the Premier League, but that draw keeps us a point above Man City in the league, which is awesome to see. Chelsea leading the Premier League title race with 30 points, Spurs just a point off them. This title race is going to be interesting, that's for sure. Leo Messi wins the World's Best Player Award, basically the Ballon d'Or. Fair enough, in real life he won it as well. But I guess this year it should have been Lewandowski in-game. Okay, interesting. I bet his value just went up. Best manager in the world goes to Hansi Flick. I'm not surprised. Pogba's picked up an injury. A bruise. He should be back in at some time in December. That's fine. Okay, we've got uh, Bruno and Martial being in the team of the month. Van der Beek's play style has changed. He's now much better as a box-to-box -box player. That's, that's great. Has his overall gone up in that position? Let's see. Uh, where's Van der Beek? You put him here. Uh, where's he gone? Van der Beek. Not yet. His overall is still 77 in that position, but I'm hoping slowly it will go back up. Take a look at the Premier League team of the month for the month of November. Martial and Bruno in that lineup. I'm not surprised. They were so good for us. Now, before we wrap up the episode, time for you guys to make your vote count for the Player of the Episode Award. Martial and Bruno, the nominees. Bruno scored in practically every game we played. And you guys saw how good Martial was, so it's between the two of them. Let me know in the comments section who should be winning the Player of the Episode Award. Next episode, the plan is to smash through the entire month of December as we're getting super close to January, where of course, the transfer window opens. So a lot's gonna happen in that next episode, stay tuned for that. But for now, time to wrap up today's episode of the United Pest Series. If you guys are enjoying the series, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here, and well, I'll catch you all next time.